So you're thinking about moving to Burnaby, BC, or perhaps you already live in the area and you want to learn a little bit more about the city. If that's the case, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to go over the top five places to live in Burnaby. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Hassan. I'm a real estate agent in the Vancouver area, and I make educational real estate videos as well as videos designed to help you make your move to Vancouver and its surrounding cities. And if you're looking for someone to help you with that, all of my contact information is in the description box below. Send me a message and I'll help you out, but I don't want to waste any time. I want to get rolling on these neighborhoods. So the first neighborhood is Willingdon Heights also referred to as the Heights, and it's located in the northwest portion of Burnaby. So you're basically flanked by Boundary, which is a north-south road, as well as Willingdon to the east. Now, the great thing about the Willingdon Heights neighborhood is it's so close to Vancouver. It's the closest location in Burnaby to downtown Vancouver. Uh, you can drive to downtown in about 20 minutes just by going along Hastings Street. Uh, if you need to get to other areas, including South Burnaby or Highway to get to the North Shore, you're right at Boundary Road, which has highway access points to Highway 1. So it's a pretty central location if you need to get into Vancouver or you need to go to the North Shore. So one of the things that the Heights is known for is some really cool eclectic style retail along Hastings Street. You're also very close, as I mentioned, to the Vancouver side. And on the Vancouver side, you have the p and &E, uh, where we have the annual fair. You have the Hastings Racetrack and Hastings Park. So some really cool areas on the Vancouver side, which again, you're bordering. But the other nice thing about Willingdon Heights is as you head a little bit north, uh, you're heading towards the water in Burnaby. There's a lot of different wall walking trails there. Uh, Willingdon Heights Park is there. Uh, and you can also get some really nice views from certain areas into Vancouver, into downtown Vancouver, and of the water. So Willingdon Heights is not known for rapid transit or SkyTrain. You would typically go to Brentwood Park, which is generally not walkable if you want to get to the SkyTrain station. But again, you're very close to Vancouver, so your total commute time uh, is not increased too much by heading over to Brentwood Park and hopping on the SkyTrain. So from a real estate perspective, most of the real estate in the area is single family home. Uh, there are some mixed use developments and some low rise coming to the area or in progress. So it's a good spot if you're looking for a detached home and you want uh, a nice yard space, you want good size lots and you want nice views and nice access into Vancouver. So the next neighborhood is Metrotown and Metrotown is basically on the south side of Burnaby and it's basically flanked by Kingsway which is a road that generally runs east-west. It, it does when you're on the Burnaby side and that'll take you into Vancouver as well. So along Kingsway, there's a lot of different walkable retail, but what Metrotown is really known for is Metropolis at Metrotown, which is the shopping mall there. I believe it's the second largest mall in Canada uh, behind West Edmonton Mall. Uh, so a lot of different stores there to get all of your retail done uh, very close. And there's a as I mentioned, a walkable retail hub all along that area. So Metrotown has a very diverse mix of people that come and live in the area. You'll find people of all ethnicities, all backgrounds and various different ages. From a real estate perspective, it's a, it's a similar mix. You have single family homes, you have townhomes, you have a lot of high rise condos, a lot of development coming in the future as well. Uh, so that area is generally developing and developing high and tall. And on that note, Metrotown is also perched a little bit higher in Burnaby than some other areas. So depending on where you live, what type of property you're in, which, which condo you're in, you can get some really nice views into Vancouver and into downtown Vancouver as well. Another thing I love about Metrotown is Central Park. And Central Park, it is actually named after Central Park in New York. It's a 90 acre park uh, that has some excellent walking trails. It has Swan Guard Stadium right there. Uh, it has the pitch and putt. So this is basically the place that you would take the family on a Saturday or a Sunday, and it's located right in the heart of Metrotown. It's, an, it's another one of those parks where you'd be surprised that that's right in the middle of a city, uh, but definitely one of the things that Burnaby is known for is Central Park. And from a transportation perspective, Metrotown is a really awesome spot to be because from Metrotown Station to downtown, uh, you're downtown in about 30, 35 minutes. Uh, you can drive into Vancouver along Kingsway very quickly because Metrotown is bordered by Boundary Road, which is the road that separates Vancouver and Burnaby. If you need to get to Richmond, it's also very quick because you would head south 
hit Marine Drive and you can get into Richmond. You can also get into New West. So it is a very central location for people that need to travel around the lower mainland. So the next neighborhood I want to talk about is called the Government Road area of Burnaby. Now this is on the east side of Burnaby, uh, more central, and it's flanked by single family homes on large lots. It's quite an affluent area of Burnaby. In fact, Michael Buble has his estate home there. So you can get a picture and an idea of what type of an area or neighborhood this is. You'll find several walking trails in the area as well as Burnaby Lake. So it's a nice tucked away little spot that also has access to Vancouver as well as Coquitlam because you're right along Lougheed Highway a little bit south of that and Lougheed is where the SkyTrain runs. So there's three different stops that'll run through the government road area. Again, as I mentioned, there are a lot more single family homes here versus high rise developments. If you're looking for a high rise type of option that's close by, uh, you would look to the city of Lougheed, which is a little bit east. City of Lougheed basically borders Coquitlam as well as Burnaby. And there's a massive development coming to the North Road corner there. Tons of high rises. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more affordable, but also has access to Burnaby Lake or you're in that government road type of an area, you may look a little bit further east uh, towards that city of Lougheed section. So the next area I want to talk about, and this probably doesn't make a lot of top five lists out there for Burnaby, just because there's so many nice areas, but it's Edmonds. Now, the Edmonds location, it has changed a lot over the last five to 10 years. Five to 10 years ago, if you asked me whether it was one of the top areas in Burnaby, I would say no. It was kind of up and coming, maybe not the cleanest area, but it has changed quite a bit. Now, Edmonds is very close to Metrotown, uh, so you can do all of your shopping at the Metrotown Mall. You're also bordered by New West as well, and you can get into Surrey pretty easily too. So if you're someone that needs to move around the entire Lower Mainland, uh, Edmonds is a good spot in Burnaby because it's very central. Uh, you can also get into Richmond pretty quickly. In terms of shopping, you have Highgate Village, which is basically uh, a retail strip mall type of an area where you can walk around outside and uh, a lot of retail in the area. From a real estate perspective, you have a mix of, of products. You basically have single family homes, you have some town homes, and you're starting to see some high rises now. The developers have moved into this area to build high rise condos. So there's a little something for everyone. The other reason that I like Edmonds as well is you can find some good value for Burnaby depending on the type of product you're looking for. So if you're looking for perhaps uh, in an older building, a condo, you can find some good pricing on some product uh, that you wouldn't be able to find in other areas of Burnaby. It also has Edmonds Community Center, which is one of the newer community centers uh, anywhere in the area of Burnaby. It's got the pool there, a lot of things, a lot of recreation for the family. And finally, you've made it to the end of the video. So my favorite area and the best neighborhood, in my opinion, to be in, in Burnaby is Brentwood Park. Now, Brentwood Park has emerged as basically the hottest area for millennials and the younger generation to move into. Brentwood Park is basically on the north side of Burnaby, uh, very close to the heights, as we spoke about earlier. And it is becoming the retail capital of Burnaby. So the city's master plan for Brentwood Park is basically an outdoor, uh, walkable, pedestrian-friendly type of retail environment with high-rise condos. So the type of place where you could basically come down your elevator, step outside, have all your shopping all right around you and head back in. At this current stage, there's still a lot of development happening. So this is a longer term plan uh, that has been enacted for the last five or six years or so. So a lot of development, a lot of construction still happening. But I personally believe that the desirability of the Brentwood area is going to rival that of downtown Vancouver. This is essentially what they're trying to create here at Brentwood Park is the entertainment hub for Burnaby. Now being so close to Vancouver, you can get downtown by SkyTrain in 25 minutes. You can drive into Vancouver in about 10 minutes. Uh, so you're, and you're right at Lougheed Highway. Lougheed Highway is an east-west road that'll take you to Boundary. So if you need to head Again, if you need to head to the North Shore, you can get there pretty quickly. So it's a pretty central area. Uh, it's also very quick to get to City of Lougheed, which we just spoke about, or even Coquitlam. So there you have it, guys. Those are the top five neighborhoods to call home in Burnaby, BC. If you got any value out of this video or you learned something, if you could hit the like button, it would do me a huge favor, as well as consider subscribing to the channel because what it does is it sends the video out to more people so they can also learn. And if you need help with your move to Vancouver or any of its surrounding cities, 
send me a message. I would love to help you out. But thank you for taking the time to watch the video and have a wonderful day.